Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over this lovely rise in price that we are seeing here on the Bitcoin chart, where this is likely to turn around, why you should maybe be slightly cautious of what's happening right now and uh, yeah, how I'm currently trading it. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one. Let's get straight into the charts because they are so lovely indeed. Uh, so yeah, very happy with this move up. As we can see, we have just continued to rise really. It's it's quite a surprising one because I, I think it's safe to say no Nobody really expected this to V-shaped recovery quite like it has. It's been an absolutely outstanding rise. It really, really has. And I, I, I will honestly say I was not expecting this when we were back at the, you know, the start of March to expect ending the end of April to, you know, already be above 8K. It's been absolutely beautiful. And this just really highlights as a trader why you have to be on your toes, reacting rather than just like trading off of predictions, trading off of biases. Okay, so biases are the quickest way to get you wrecked. Um, you know, if you have traded the technicals here, you are going to be in a long position right now and you are going to be making money. If you are, have been under the bias that Bitcoin had to head down because of what's happening in the greater world, well, you're losing money right now. As many people are, we're seeing millions and millions and millions of liquidations on shorts right now. Uh, so that's just one thing I'll just, you know, stay, say to start us off, you know, always, you know, as I always preach, trade the charts, don't trade your bias and you will hopefully be doing well in this market right now. Um, so what are some of the technicals? Okay, so let's bring your minds back. Okay, so before today, because today being the 29th of April, absolutely lovely. What was happening before the 29th of April? So let's cast our minds back a week. And you have to think, you know, one week ago, we were still under the market predominantly bearish. And we're looking at this by looking at net longs, net shorts, you know, seeing that the market is heavily favoring moves to the downside. You can also take a look at BitMEX funding, also paying longs, which means that majority generally are shorts. We were seeing the futures. OK, so we were seeing some backwardation with futures trading below the spot price it's just you know people have been really expecting this to go down in price so you know as you know from when i originally opened this long position it was based off of the fact uh you know especially oil had just crashed down we're talking about going into negative so over 100 percent you know massive 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 crash on oil which got a lot of people bearish we were seeing on the day this was back on the 22nd the smp was down five no three percent on that day we were seeing gold down about a percent, uh, pulling back. We were also obviously seeing Bitcoin in a bearish environment for what many people are thinking. And you also had the funding favoring longs, e.g. majority are short or expecting lower prices. Uh, so what was I doing? I was going into this long position back there. And I still hold this long position now, as well as a few other longs right now. <laughs> um, and... Um, on top of this confluence, okay, so this is where we're looking at psychological confluence, and then you have statistical evidence and then technical analysis evidence. So we had the psychology a week ago where we could clearly see the majority were favoring downside. So we have the counter trading of against the majority. You never want to trade with the majority, only trade for your own charts, not what everybody else is thinking, e.g. block out things like Twitter, etc. It's just, just not going to help you. You just have to concentrate on doing your own technical analysis. So we have the psychology of the market, majority expecting lower prices. Secondly, what you have on top of this, you have the fact uh, now you're getting in, in, into a little bit of um, viewpoints in the market of um, bearish kind of pattern. So we had, yes, you know, a few days ago, this swing failure pattern. Swing failure pattern is a bearish pattern for many people. And what are, are I have been is recording statistics on, ton, on swing failure patterns when the swing failure pattern makes a higher low and bounces off the value area high. We had 62% probabilities that Bitcoin was going to push up higher here. OK, so if you want to see uh, the thought process there's that I had on this, I will uh, let you see this. I'll just let you read it here. You can just pause the screen. OK, and read through this because I think this is like in, it's so invaluable information. I mean, th this is the thing. Trading is not easy. I'm not going to say it was easy to make money here on this on these sort of trades, but I put in so much time and effort, like literally my whole days and all my time just goes into trading. I absolutely love it. So I'm not going to say like this is easy. OK, it's because it's it, you might, might seem I can make it seem pretty easy. I'm not going to lie, but it take, takes me a lot of time and effort to obviously do this. And so, you know, taking all the time to make the statistics, that's what gives you an edge in trading. That's what gives you the confidence in trading, because if I have a statistical advantage, I can say from probabilities, from what's happened in the past, I have, you know, a 62% chance that we're going to push up higher here, that we're going to get an increase in price. I can be more confident, you know, having the technicals, which also led me to a push and then having the, you know, the psychological advantage that I think, believe the majority are shorting this and also seeing that on the charts. And then as well as, you know, having the statistics behind me that we were going to push up, you know, as I kind of was saying a few days ago, you know, I want to be the best. Literally, I just want to be the best in everything I do. And how do you become the best? You put in time, you put in effort, you put in blood, sweat and tears, you put in everything that you have to be the best. 
being the best does not come easy. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a very happy with this rise that we're seeing right now. And this is the evidence that hard work truly does pay off in, and in trading a very much in a monetary value way, because this has just been a lovely, <laughs> lovely rise. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, what did you have on top of this? Okay, so then another technical analysis tool that we had lining up today. And uh, this is why last night I was actually posting uh, you know, well, swing for pattern into a high-low when you know you know. Obviously, everyone in my group did, did know about that statistical advantage. And then on top of that, we also had, uh, was wanting to see the break today, being the 29th of April, because we had the 1.618 Fibonacci time today. Okay, so we had that today. Um, so it's just everything's going perfect. Once again, I just remember back to the 6th of April. I correctly guessed that when we would break. And then today being the 29th of April. Uh, April uh, have got this one absolutely perfect again. So it's expecting a breakout today for the 1.618 Fibonacci time extension. And today you can see, you know, we've hit, <laughs> we've hit it and we continue to rise here. It's just absolutely, it's just absolutely brilliant. And then I suppose, um, you know, you know, well, there's not so much technical analysis I can do. Here. We're just rising and rising and rising. So I, I personally have no interest in trying to time to high with a short. You know, for me now, I'm just going to wait for <laughs> wait for the chart to give me a reason to short. Um, you know, I have my eyes on a few levels that you can see here. But and and really, you know, you just got to play this sensibly now. Really play this sensibly. Yes, I feel that you're going to be granted with a really good short position soon. But you might as well just time that short entry because at the end of the day, timing is massively important. Okay, so you don't need to time to high on this. There's plenty of room if we start to break down to trade this to much lower prices. I'm absolutely sure of that. But at the same time, you have to say to yourself, you know, anybody that's tried to swing trade this on a short has just lost money and lost money and lost money. So just trade with the trend and show that the trend is at least giving you a sign of weakness. And until for me personally, until I see any weakness in this chart, I will maintain in my long positions and, um, you know, not try and short this for a swing trade. I will happily sculpt this, by the way, on the short side for like five, you know, 20, 20 dollar sort of moves. But in in terms of a swing trade, yeah, I've no interest in shorting this right now. And I'll happily just, you know, maintain in longs and um, see where we see where this takes us, to be honest, right now. I've got a few levels in mind, but at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I'll wait for the reactions, wait for a bit of confirmation. On top of that, I will expand, you know, if you want to learn exactly how I'm trading this, okay, so if you want to get in my mind exactly what I'm looking for when I'm trading, you know, what, for instance, now when I'm waiting for confirmation to enter a short, what am I looking for? Uh, if you want to learn that, those sort of, you know, skills, and then that is what I'll be teaching, what I have taught over the last few years, as well as in tonight's live stream, I will be going over session volume. And uh, we asked, by the way, starting a new challenge, which is 0.01 to 0.1 Bitcoin. So this is for the smaller traders that are interested in, you know, getting their getting their foot in the game. So that's going to be a brilliant challenge that we're hosting with a, a prize as well for the winner. Um, yeah, so if you want to trade along with everyone else, we got that challenge uh, under starting actually tomorrow. So that's going to be a, that's going to be a fun one. Um, and then I suppose <laughs> I kind of done this funny tweet here that if you want like a guardian angel <laughs> that looks over your trades, I'm, I'm, I'm your guardian angel right now on trading because these are some of the tips that I gave to everybody a few days ago saying, you know, not interested in shorting. There's no need to short it. You know, so we had um, yeah, just, lo just a lot of reasons here not to short this with the statistics, with the uh, the day that we were expecting a break. OK, you also had on the lower term time frames here. OK, so you also had on this lower term time frame uh, the uh, ascending triangle in here as well. OK, so I'll try and find the post that I had from last night. And that was um, probably will be able to find it when I type it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so last night I was posting this just before I went to sleep. Uh, this ascending triangle that we also had. So you can see here the declining volume as well as OBV here breaking up. This is just a classic sign that price is going to break up as well. Uh, and on top of the fact, it was the 29th. Uh, what I was waiting for I was wanting to see this by the time I woke up for the breakup. And we did get that breakup. So that was lovely. That was that ascending triangle. And, you know, this is just not stopped. Oh, you can see here on the daily as well. We broke above the daily, back tested the daily and then also moved on again. I just it's just been so bullish. It's, I could go on speaking about this for hours. I really could. I've been going on nine minutes. That's enough for me. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this analysis. I hope that you've, you you can see the absolute passion that I have for trading. Some people don't like my videos so much anymore because <laughs> I just, I, 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 I feel a little bit, I don't know. But yeah, I, for me, it's just all passion. I absolutely love this so much. So for me to see this playing out, obviously I'm proud personally. And uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll end with this. I, I forgot about this. I'll end with this, like seeing comments like this. You know, this guy has doubled his account in what, like a few weeks here, you know, to see like the just to see as like a mentor, my students may actually making really, really amazing money. It's just, you know, I have joy from trading the charts and then an extra joy on top of this from seeing like the students I'm actually teaching, making money. It's just like, it's just absolutely lovely. I, I, I'm loving, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody. 
hope that you have a brilliant day i would say take caution to shorting like don't try and time the exact top there's no need to i feel that when we get you know the confirmation of a short we will be able to trade this very much you know quite heavily to the downside um but until there's that little bit of confirmation you are just essentially um you know hoping that this is going to turn down around at some time soon so don't, don't fight the trend right now there's literally no need we're coming into resistance right now so i'm going to get back to the charts and actually trade this go and check some statistics again so um yeah hope you've enjoyed this quick update i'm going to go trade this cheers everybody if you want some like real time updates of how i'm trading it then obviously uh yeah chartchampions.com uh where i've also got that live stream tonight for you all so yeah cheers everybody thank you and have a good one cheers bye